In this video, I am going to compare six car alternator charging solutions for your power station needs. What's up everyone? Ever come up with a problem where you're out there overlanding and or camping and you need to charge your power station? The old solutions of using your cigarette lighter from your car is very, very slow, 100 watts. And then the solar panels, the portable solar panels are not that efficient. You know, 50% of what they claim is what you get, they take up a lot of space, they're kind of expensive and they might get stolen. Okay, so last year, really fascinating is one company, EcoFlow, came up with an alternator charger right here. And the concept is your car, when it is running, produces a lot of DC current with its alternator. And a lot of that uh, energy gets wasted because you know it's producing drag and if you're not using it, so it just taps that unused energy. And then when it needs more load, it'll just, uh, ask a little more from the engine and, uh, and, and, and generate that electricity. It, your fuel consumption might go up a little bit, but it's a very convenient way of generating DC current uh, from your automobile. So in this video, I'm going to compare six solutions that have come up. Uh, first one is this EcoFlow uh, gener uh, alternator charger right here. Used to be $600, now $400 and generates charges your power station with 800 watts. Next one is the Bluetti Charger One. $249 for this thing, and it charges at a rate of 560 watts. Then we have something from eTaker, $249 for this one, and it charges at a rate of 500 watts. There's also a product from Pecron that uh, is very similar to this that I'll compare. And finally, we have a product from Commvault or Energy Freedom, which is an alternator charger right here. And this one is very similar to products made by Victron and uh, Renogi, and uh, it charges at a rate of 400 watts. Okay, before we jump into the installation and comparison of each one, I want to tell you that something really cool is the installation is not that hard. All you really need for wiring is just a wire like this, a positive and a negative, and usually you're good to go. Uh, and then you usually have an app. Uh, and then the factors that you are, should be concerned about is one, the price, how fast it charges, and then how much voltage it produces, uh, because a lot of them will go through your solar input. And then the last one is convenience. Do you have to turn a switch on? Do you have to fire up an app or is it automatic? And finally, compatibility. You know, which power stations does it work with? Is it universal generic or does it uh, work only with uh, their own brand's power stations? Okay, the first one that I'm going to cover is the EcoFlow uh, alternator charger right here. And the biggest caveat with this thing, very robustly built, is it only works with EcoFlow Delta chargers and their similar, you know, higher end chargers. So it charges at a rate of 800 watts and it is... Uh, you know, it, it requires that uh, proprietary plug that they have. And finally, you have a switch here that you got to hit. So a little more inconvenient uh, for usage and installation. On with the install and to that end, they give you a positive and negative wire right here. That's super long. It's 16 feet long. It's as long as my truck. <laughs> so it's positive and negative. It's in your engine bay. I put it right here, but I, I put it outside so I can show you guys. And this has to be routed inside your vehicle positive and negative, and then you plug it in here with these special uh, adapters. You can't go wrong. You know, the car, uh, there's really only two plugs. One goes to the car and one goes to the power station. The on-off switch is right here. This looks like a module, but it's really an on-off switch. So you, you press it, and then there's a light in the back. Look at that, green, red, green, red. Okay, now it's green. That means it is ready. It's on, it's ready for action. It senses the alternator, and we, we look at it. And right there, since it's wired up, it's automatically charging. So as you can see in the app, it's charging this, and this thing woke up. If it's off, it's gonna uh, wake up, and it says, hey, I'm getting juice 800 watts. 800 watts is so cool because this truck is like 20 years old, 19 years old, and it's the alternator's original, and it is pushing 800 watts. I'm not sure if AC's on. Yeah, the AC's on and uh, it has no problem powering it. Next product I'm gonna cover is the Bluetti charger right here <laughs> compared to that EcoFlow. This one's much lighter uh, and it has a 
real trick up its sleeve aside from its price of $249. And that is, it's compatible with everyone. <laughs> compatible with everything that has a solar input. And let me tell you, all these power stations, they do need a solar input anyway. So it pretends that it's a solar panel. So that's the genius of it. So how it works is it, it just converts your car's 12 volts into a very high voltage. That way you can charge it at a very fast pace and it charges at a rate of about 560 watts. All right, next product in the comparison is the DJI 1K fast charger. And this is cool because it uh, is very fast, $299, but it charges at 1000 watts. Actually, I tested 1050 and it is blazing fast, fully automatic. You don't have to uh, flip any switches. It just detects the voltage increase uh, of your uh, battery as your car starts. So that's kind of the way to go with these alternator chargers. You can just make them automatic. Okay, of course, the big downside is with big power, charging power comes big responsibility. Uh, and it is proprietary. It's proprietary, just like the EcoFlow, to their own uh, power stations, uh, DJI power stations. And I think that's what I'm finding is if you want fast charging, it has to be go through some proprietary uh, circuit because you know the solar panel input uh, for the most part can only handle so much of input. All right, I'll stay back here. The it's charging now. Boom. There we go. Total power input, 103 watts, 434 watts, 742 watts. All right. So we're doing pretty good. 754 watts. Okay. And the key thing here is even though it's, it claims 1,000, it's only charging at 745. And you know why? Because it not only automatically turns on, but it automatically uh, throttles the charge depending on your battery and your alternator. Okay, right now it says the voltage of the battery is 12.8, so it's stopping right there. It's not going over. It's not harming your alternator or your, your battery. Okay, so what's the proof? We are gonna, uh, we're only going about 800 RPM, so we're gonna rev the engine a little bit and see what happens. All right, so I have the RPM going at about 1200 RPM, and you can see 1060 watts is going in. Um, so well over a thousand. All right. So if you're driving, you're well over a thousand RPM, 1200 RPM. This is, thing is going to charge fast. So very cool, right? All right. Next one is more generic, like the Blue Eddy. And this one is the E-Taker alternator charger. F1000 is what they call it. This is $229 and it charges at a rate of 500 watts. So 500 watts, pretty darn cool, nice compact package and it is automatic. Uh, they say there's a vibration plate that sen senses vibration and it turns on. I am not sure, but they could just work with voltage. It's switchable as well. And the trick up this guy's sleeve is he can also take in solar panels. 500 watts of solar panels, 500 watts of alternator current. So you could charge your power station, any power station uh, at a rate of a thousand watts. You know, if it can handle a thousand watts of solar. So pretty darn cool here from e-taker okay so let me show you how it works so this is the input the solar input takes up to a thousand watts and it also is the input for the alternator charger all right so follow this line and this goes to the f1000 right here uh e-taker f1000 and because i took the spot of the solar charger they said oh we'll give you a spot too so this is the solar panel and you can see over there uh solar panel is is integrated into the F1000 and it's charging 76 watts, which is the solar panel. So that's good, but let's see the alternator work. I'm gonna start the car. So right there, now it's charging at a rate of 500 watts, 500 watts. The next product I'd like to cover is very similar to this, is by Pecron. And the trick up its sleeve is it's cheap, $150. And there should be a coupon code as well in my description. And it's very similar to this where it's generic, goes through solar. Uh, the only difference is it doesn't have a solar input. So it'll do 500 watts of alternator charging uh, with the Pecron box. Okay, now let's go through the install of the Pecron and it's pretty standard positive and negative. They do supply a big wire. They do have a fuse box 
right here in case anything goes wrong fuse will blow and then it has these adapters to the solar inputs uh, these are standard solar connectors and the pecron we're using as this special din connector and the only other thing you need to know is there's a voltage adjust here where it will start and stop charging and finally what we have here is from Commvault or energy freedom and this is kind of probably the, what started it all uh, because this is just an alternator charger and what's interesting about it is you know it's just a baseline product it puts out 12 volts energy and it has a lot of amperage 30 amps so you get about 300 watts of, of charging uh, with this guy uh, and something unique that they do is this goes to your cigarette lighter and, and your cigarette lighter is activated when your engine is running right so they they go off that and you have a light that tells you it's running you can switch it off if you don't want it uh, but it doesn't up the voltage a lot of those products they up the voltage to 48 volts and 50 volts so it can charge fast so this thing your power station needs to be able to uh, receive you know a high a low voltage but high amperage uh input charging input uh, for it to go fast and a lot of them don't do that so the products similar to this are the ones by victron and renoji almost identical uh to this guy so simple boxes that uh, put out a a uh, high charge usually they're, they're made for a bank of lithium batteries uh, not power stations but they definitely serve the purpose as well so this is an alternator charger and it's a 30 amp and all you need to do is connect two wires maybe three two wires positive negative and then a switching wire the switching wire is interesting because it's just connected to your cigarette lighter and your cigarette lighter is on when you turn the engine on because it's important that you charge it only when your engine is running or your alternator is running. So let me do a quick demonstration for you guys. I'm going to shut the engine off and um, uh, I'll show you that it does stop charging. And now 0.0, .0 input. Now it is not charging anymore. And the minute I turn it on, let me turn the engine on. There we go, 30 amp charging. So really cool. And uh, you have an indicator here as well. Not that this will probably be out of sight, but red means it's charging, green means it's full. So there you go, my friends. Fascinating world, right? What's my conclusion? My conclusion is the Boeri is the king. Pretends it's a solar panel. It works with any brand and it's a small compact unit. And then the other one is the E-Taker, E-Taker F1000, the uh, uh, advantage of this one is it will take a solar panel input as well as alternator input and combine to charge your device with a thousand watts of energy. Not too bad for options, right? Thanks a ton.